All right, summer is almost here, which means you're gonna start playing golf with your friends, you're gonna start drinking beers, having those late afternoon rounds where you're hanging out, you're having fun, and one of the things you're probably gonna be doing is listening to music. Because music has gotten to be more prevalent on the golf course, it should come as no surprise that there's been an entirely new market segment that has come out recently, which are golf Bluetooth speakers. Now, what the heck is a golf Bluetooth speaker? Essentially, it's a speaker that almost always has a magnet. You can mount it onto a golf cart or it has a hook for you to mount it onto a golf bag. And in many cases, it's going to have built-in GPS. So you can get audible distances to the front, middle, and back of the green straight from your Bluetooth speaker. But you might be wondering, okay, that's cool, but which one should I get? What's different between one and the other? Should I spend more for the Bushnell? Should I spend less on something else? Do I need the GPS features? So in this video, we're gonna answer all those questions and I'm gonna tell you what I think are the best golf Bluetooth speakers on the market and hopefully help you find the one that is right for you. All right, before I jump into what my personal favorite speakers are out there, I just wanna kind of throw this out there because you might be on the market for a golf Bluetooth speaker. You might be thinking, wow, GPS distances, that's super cool, that's great. I don't think most people need that. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> because right now there are so many ways we can get yardages and GPS distances. You can have a GPS golf watch. You can have a rangefinder. You can have a shot tracking system like Arcos. You can have a GPS golf app like Golf Shot. There's a good chance you are already using one of those. And if you are, then this is just gonna add some added complication. It's one more app that you're gonna need. It's one more thing you're gonna have to pair to your phone. And I think it's just gonna kind of get in the way for most people. So if I were you, I would just think about how you intend to use this. If you truly want this to be your one and only GPS distance device, that's great. We're going to have recommendations for that. But if you already have a device for getting distances that you like, I would consider other things more importantly, like sound, form factor, size, because I think those are going to make a bigger difference than being able to get audible GPS distances on the course from your Bluetooth speaker. So that's just my that's just my personal thought. You may think this is the greatest invention of all time, and that's great, but I just wanted to throw out my opinion, having now used a bunch of these. All right, so first up, we're gonna talk about most compact. If you want the smallest speaker possible that still sounds good and is going to give you GPS distances, you should consider this, the Tech 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 Teammate. Now, over the years, I've been a little bit critical of some Tech 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 products. There were a few of their range finders I really didn't have a very good experience with, but recently, the products that have come out over the last couple years, I've actually found to be really, really good. Their clear range finder is one of, if not the best range finders under $200, and this speaker, the Teammate, I found to be really fun. Um, so they've got a few quirky features where it's like there's this belt clip that it comes with. It's a magnetic belt clip, and you can put it on your belt have your tunes following you around. That seems a little weird. You maybe, maybe don't do that, but it has a lanyard, it has the belt clip, so you can hook it to your bag in a variety of different ways, but it is also magnetic, so you can put it on your golf cart as well, which is a nice feature. So whether you're walking, whether you're riding, you can get sound out of this. It sounds pretty good for its size, but considering it is pretty small, don't expect it to get super loud. Don't expect it to be super bassy. With this, you're paying for its compact and versatile size. The GPS app that comes with it is fine. It's nothing like earth shattering, it's nothing great. Uh, but if you're looking for accurate GPS yardages, it's going to allow you to get that with this. But like I said, when I use this, I don't even pair it to the app. I don't use the GPS features because I think that they're unnecessary in most cases. All right, next up, let's talk about best full-featured golf Bluetooth speaker. This thing has pretty much everything you could ask for with one notable exception that I'm gonna talk about, but that is the Bushnell Wingman View. So this is the follow-up to the original Wingman, which was the very first golf Bluetooth speaker ever made. And this is an improvement in most ways. It's triangular design, does a great job of disseminating sound in a variety of directions. So no matter where you are around the cart, you're gonna get good sound. The buttons across the top are very high quality. It makes it very easy to change the volume and play and pause the music. There's also an included remote on the top. So if your cart's on a cart path and you're in the middle of the fairway, you can hit a button and still get GPS distances. There's also a fun feature where you can double tap or triple tap this button and have it automatically play customized messages. So if you want to record yourself saying something like, nice shot, you can record that in the app and then hit a button and it will play through the speaker. 
Kind of gimmicky, a little bit of a party trick, but pretty cool. This is also the only speaker we're gonna talk about that has a built-in screen. And so at any given time, you can get distances to the front, middle, and the back of the green just by looking at the screen. And I like that a lot more than the audible distances. The downside is when you are mounting it to a cart, the screen is angled. And because it's not backlit and it's highly reflective, you kind of have to crane your neck a little bit to see the distances, unless you're the passenger riding in the cart, in which case it's much easier to see. But overall, this product sounds great. It's got a super strong magnet. It's got audible distances and visual distances. So it really is a full featured GPS golf speaker. The downside is that the old model had a little hook on the bottom. So you could attach a carabiner to it and clip it to your golf bag. The new model doesn't have that. So if you are a walking golfer, this is probably not going to be the speaker for you. It's pretty heavy and uh, there's no way to easily attach it to your golf bag. But if you are someone who rides in a cart for most of your rounds and you want the best sounding, best performing, most full featured product out there, then this is going to be the Bluetooth speaker you're gonna wanna buy. Hey, quick side note. Are you on our email list yet? I send like one email a week with all of our best stuff, all of our best course reviews, product reviews, all the things. Go to breakin80.com slash hi. Get on there. Don't worry. You can unsubscribe at any time if it sucks. But if you're watching at this video, if you've made it this far, I think you're going to like it. Back to the video. All right, next up, we're going to talk best full featured speaker for the walking golfer. And that is the newest product on our list, the Bushnell Wingman Mini. So this isn't even out yet. I will do a review when I get my hands on it, but I can pretty much tell you how it's going to work. Essentially, it's about half the size of the regular Wingman and doesn't have the built-in screen. But what it does have is a built-in hook so you can easily attach it to your golf bag and it has a built-in magnet so you can easily attach it to a cart. So if you're like me, where sometimes you carry, sometimes you push, sometimes you take a golf cart, you can really take it anywhere you wanna go. If the GPS distances are important to you, it also pairs with the Bushnell Golf app, which is great, so you can get those audible GPS distances. Again, this probably isn't something I'm personally going to use a whole lot, but for me, having the convenience of the clip, having the magnet and the sound quality, all of Bushnell's speakers sound really good, that's probably going to make the Wingman Mini the one that I'm going to be most likely to use. It doesn't have the remote like the Wingman View, it doesn't have the screen like the Wingman View, and it's probably not going to get as loud as it, but all of those other convenience features, I think are going to make it the best speaker for the walking golfer. All right, next up is the best speaker for people that don't care about GPS yardages. For the last year or so, this has been my number one recommendation for most people, and that is the Blue Tees Player Series speaker. We've already talked about how I don't think GPS yardages in a speaker are really going to be that functional and that purposeful for most people. Cool party trick, you know, I think the caveat to that is the wingman view where you get it in the screen, which is an extra nice feature, but the audible distances, I just don't find to be that useful. So this doesn't have any of that. All it has is a really strong magnet, great bass, it gets very loud and it sounds awesome. And you get all of that for only a hundred bucks. So to get the wingman view, which sounds equally as good and equally as loud, you're gonna have to spend an extra 50 bucks or 50% more money to do it. This you often find on sale as well. If you're in the market for a rangefinder, they've got a great package where you can get their Series 3 Max along with this speaker. Uh, we've got a coupon code below that you can use to get a deal on that. But basically the reason I like this so much is because it sounds great and it's very simple. And that's why I think most other people are really gonna get some value out of it as well. All right, we got two more speakers we're gonna talk about today. And the next one is the best budget speaker. And that is the JBL Clip. So this is the JBL Clip 3. There's also the JBL Clip 4. Right now you can get both of them on Amazon for around 50 bucks. I've seen this one get closer to 40. The Clip 4 is just over 50. But honestly, they sound great. They have a built-in clip, so they easily attach to your golf bag. They're easy to pair. They're from JBL, which is one of the most reputable names in sound. And this is honestly the one that I have used the most over the course of the last couple of years, just for all the reasons I mentioned before. I just want something that sounds good, that's easy, that's simple. I don't need the GPS yardages. And this one is great. So honestly, if you're someone that carries your clubs, you don't wanna spend a ton of money on a speaker. You don't care about a magnet to mount to a cart. You just want to have something that's gonna sound good, be easy and not break the bank just go get the JBL clip. It's fantastic. So I say this is the best budget speaker, but honestly, price aside, I think this is one of the best speakers for anybody, as long as you don't necessarily care about the magnet or those GPS distances. Like I said, I'm really excited to try out the Wingman Mini from Bushnell because I do think having the magnet for some added versatility is nice, but for most of my rounds, it's not necessary. This is all I need. So you can get this on Amazon, 40, 50 bucks. It's a great option. 
All right, finally, the last one we're going to talk about is our wildcard pick. It's a wildcard because I didn't even know it had been released until last week, and that is the Precision Pro Duo speaker. So a few years ago, right after the Wingman came out, Precision Pro came out with their own speaker to compete with the Wingman called the Ace. And honestly, it just wasn't that great. The app integration didn't work very well, the Bluetooth connectivity wasn't super strong, and it just didn't sound that great when compared to the JBL Clip or the Bushnell Wingman. So that makes me that much more excited because I know they learned a lot when making that product to see how they rolled that into the Duo. This looks really cool because it truly seems like a product that you can use under just about any circumstance. If you want to clip it to your bag, you can do that. If you want to attach it via magnet to a cart, you can do that. If you want the GPS distances, it's got a built-in app. And so I'm really excited to see how this all comes together and how well it works. The question is, is how is it going to compare to the Wingman Mini? These seem like they are basically directly competing against each other, and the Bushnell is only 100 bucks, whereas the Precision Pro is 130. Bushnell has the bigger name, they've got a little bit more of a track record, so I'm curious to see how those two products are going to compare, and I will do a product review of each of them when they both come out. But if you're in the market for a golf Bluetooth speaker, the Precision Pro one has a potential to be one of the best ones on the market, so I would do a little bit of research and maybe consider that if it seems like it fits the bill for what you're looking for. So there you go. That's my take on the best golf speakers on the market. If you're watching this a few months after it's been released, I've linked to our written review below so you can go check that out for my take on the newest products that we mentioned that I had yet to review before shooting this video. My name's Sean Ogle. I'm the founder of this thing here, Breaking 80, where we do cool golf tech product reviews and golf course reviews. If you got some value out of this, maybe consider hitting subscribe. Go hop on our email list, breaking80.com slash hi, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Peace.